I don't, I, I, like you found, I don't think a woman, you found a woman. woman. Say what you want to. I don't but a woman you know. might bring a lot of things, but peace she does not. Said, I'm gonna tell you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is now. This is this is the narrative. I'm not here to stand up for women. I'm not here to stand up for men entirely. But if I had to choose, it'll be us before them. Facts. That's just what it is. But I'm not gonna sit here and allow these communities that get on this YouTube thing and guys to say that that woman don't exist she does she's 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 out here there's Bro. a lot of them Bro. that will give you your peace hey. look i'm no. gonna say this it may be controversial no. she'll give you your peace she'll, give, she'll peace. give you your fun your happiness she and she'll keep your belly full and she your balls she, empty right that uh, woman is there everything but peace that's, a, that's, with, a, that's I agree, false i agree on everything that's false. but peace that's false there's women that don't give you no smoke I've had them, you see? I've had them. Okay, all right. No smoke. I gave the smoke. Okay, all right. I gave the smoke. Okay. There's women that don't give you no smoke. Look, I don't bother you about nothing. Okay. But I just want to sit there. If, if it's okay. Let me ask you this. Can I sit down and talk to you Were you in a relationship? Or were you mad? Right. I was in a relationship. Doesn't count. It does count. Because well, in the state matter. of Massachusetts, if you're together for a certain amount of years, yeah, you know, I'm I know matter. what you call law to my common law. That means that I'm susceptible to anything shit. if she went to the fucking court and asked for something. Common law ain't shit. If you didn't, if you didn't get up there in front of that judge or that preacher and say, I do it, put that ring on there. Let me tell you something. It's a difference. I know people been common law for 19, 20, 25 years. Say, hey, I do shit last year. Women, I'm going to tell you something. When you get married, I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you, you got you, you got to do it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you've been in a relationship, you've been coming along married, brother, take that step. I challenge you, take that step and say I do. And I promise you, you're going to see a difference from the girlfriend, yeah. to the coming along married, to the man. I promise you that. There's, there's a lot of brothers in this world that will say the same thing as you. But there's also a lot of brothers that will say the, the, say the, the, say the adverse to what you're saying. All right, okay. it comes down to this, okay. and 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 and, okay. and we all want to be this uh, bunch of black people that say black people is not a monolith. We're different. Our experience is different. Our likes and our wants are different. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Women are not a monolith either. They're very different women and very 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 diverse. True. Women with very different backgrounds. True. Very different characteristics. Very different sets of morals. True. Right. So I can't say that all women are this and all women are that. You, sir, have not found that woman that completes you. I don't want her. That's that's I, what I, 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 I don't I don't I, I can't I tell her. I can't tell that you don't want her by you doing the things with certain females that don't deserve that treatment of a GFE. But it's my but money. Even, it's not about the money. It's about the action that you're doing or that other brothers doing in this GFE world that are not required. You're not required to treat a fucking worker any type of way. She has a job. I can do what I want to do. fill their job. She will I, be I, cool. I my money. Scout women can sit in your house for five days and you say no words to her. You understand what I'm saying? You say no words to her. You don't even care if the bitch eat. As long as she's performing the job that she's there to do for those five days, shit's cool. She get her bread, she go on. Go. It's the men that want to do the extra shit. Hugging, laying on them, feet on the bitch in bed, watching TV, throwing popcorn at each other. Pillow fighting with a it's bitch fantasy. that you eventually got to send back to the streets because yeah. you can't keep that bitch it's, on the it's, it's, it's it's a, Get a fucking girlfriend. They don't want me. Oh, damn it, I'm They don't want me. All right, listen, you get too upset. No, come down, come down. Get you a drink of liquor. Bring the liquor. Bring me. Let's get a shot of brown liquor. Hell no. <laughs> Experience. I don't want no girlfriend. Listen, I like to do what I want to do when I want to do it. I don't have to explain nothing to nobody. Listen, I've been married. I've been. I was a good husband. Mm. Let me tell you, I raised a family. I gave them an excellent lifestyle. Listen, I don't want to do that anymore. No. I, listen, I think if 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 uh.
been been since I was married for so long. That's all I knew. But I think this. I think that after maybe a year of uh, being single, maybe two years, I may have tried it again. But after two years, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Mm. It's like you ever notice if, if you ever have a pet, like just say a, a dog, and you keep him in a cage, and you don't never let him out that damn cage. The only thing you do, you feed him. Bro, do me a favor, pop, get me a coat, please. I beg. Yeah, please. Uh, what's your decision? I don't even know. I won't. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna take that. I ain't gonna drink it straight. Yeah, I might take one shot straight. Where you got rum? We ain't even eating, bro. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm crazy. You don't shut crazy, boy. That's man, not you have, you have some, you have, some, you have some chocolate chip cookies, man. No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One or two. Nah, but I ain't. No, I can take one. I can take one and won't be sick, man. Ah, shit. Nah, man, I ain't take it. I, I didn't mean to hit one. Nah, man. Nah, it's Brian, look at me. Drink some milk. Yo, is that where you put the cookies? In that bag, was it? No, no. Where's the area right there? But just say, but my, my point is this. With, with, with marriage and divorce and all this. If, if, no. if after... Where's the cookies? Where's the... There you go. So, so if, 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 you had a, if you had a dog in a cage and you never let him out, and you, you fed him in the cage, you know, and gave him water in the cage. We ain't eating. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just say you kept him in there for two years. You know how to never let him out. You let him out every now and then to walk him or whatever, clean his cage. Shit. What, what do you think gonna happen if he gets out of that cage? If he digs out, you leave it open by mistake, he gonna catch hell putting it back in there. That's, yo, TC, I'm, I'm, not, like in I'm, not, I'm not even gonna even answer your question because I know somebody's gonna see this and say we're referring to women as dogs. Oh, no, no, that's no, crazy. No, no, I'm talking about a man now. I'm talking about a man uh, oh. being after being married for so long. I'm, I'm gonna explain to you why I will never step back into that again. Well, some it depends on the man because we're not all the same. We're not all the same, but, but I, most men that got over 15 years, they kind of think the same. Now. I know men have been married three, four, five not years. Necessarily did. They're gonna do it again yeah, two, two times. I'm four. Four. on three times. But look, usually when you've been married for a long period of time and you get a taste of that freedom, let me tell you something. Man, that's, this shit is priceless. I'm, I'm telling you, man, I I've had to be husband, daddy, and all that for all these years. Now you divorced, your kids are grown. Listen, and, and, and then you figure, hey, it's time to live. Then, then you fuck around and retire from your job and, and you start drawing pensions and you're not worried about like finances. Let me tell you something. It's a different world, man. When the only thing you gotta do is do what you wanna do. If, if I wake up tomorrow and say, you know what? Shit, I wanna go to Africa. Guess what? I can. It ain't, it ain't no feeling in the world like that. When you're married, like it's, it's different. You can still go places, but you're gonna have to do family stuff. You can't. You can't say, now I know women do the girls trips and stuff like that, and some women are lot of husband with the guys, but most of the time, you ain't gonna do no guys trip. You know, most of the time, that ain't gonna work out too well. Everything you're explaining to me is from a person that does not need or, or desire, require, and connection to a person at any level. They're right. nomads, right? Right, right. right. Why the fuck still a GFE? What the fuck are you hanging out with a fucking hoe for? It don't make no fucking sense. It brings me back. You have no reason hanging out with this bitch past the fucking expiration date. And that means when you bang, bang, skeet, skeet, bye, bitch. You've been paid for your services. Bye. That's the job. Okay. The job don't change because you got bread. I, yes, it does. It doesn't change because yes, you got bread. Yeah, it, don't. it doesn't change because you got bread. What the realization of looking in I the mirror of it. Of course, but the realization of what changed, what really changed in that transaction is you are lying to yourself. No, you're I lying to your goddamn self. I get what I'm saying. And what for. you're paying for is what you're saying you don't want. Do you hear me? Am I, am I fucking asking if, if I want it for a week, I get it for a week. If I want it for a week, I get it for a week. Fucking losing my mind. You're losing your mind. You're paying for what you're telling me you don't want. What the fuck I, am I missing? Girlfriend experience. To me, I'm gonna explain to you. I'm gonna explain to you. Okay, when you when you first meet a woman, just okay. say you're a relationship type guy. Why do men go to whores? Why do men go to whores? For sexual release. More so fantasy. 
No, fucking fantasy. There's fantasy. You can fucking... Fantasy is an SMM. Oh, yeah. What's the SMM mother... What do you call them shits? No, you see? That's a fantasy. Cosplay. Dressing up. Running into your bitch at a bar, running into your girlfriend at a bar, and she act like you never met her before. Oh, that's like a that fantasy. Shit. That's oh, some like that bullshit. Dressing up. Okay. Dress, yeah, let me tell you something. I don't dressing know. Dressing up in some Baywatch it's uniform. It's a fame, That's a fucking man. fantasy. A fame right. Gucci. So I'm playing Cowboys and Indians. It's a fame Gucci. I'm glad you said that. I'm, I'm glad you said that. That's a fantasy, nigga. I don't give a damn. Yeah, she dressed up like Beyonce. It's a fame Gucci. Hold on. So. I hate you so much. Gucci. I want to give him Gucci. I hate you. I'm not a fucking man. I don't give a damn what she's. She can spell out the Slimmer fan. She can. Let me tell you. I don't care. It's the same Gucci. I want something different. Okay, so get a girlfriend that likes bringing a different joint to the bed. That can happen, but come on, let's face it. In our community, it can't happen. But now, nah, you, you're you telling it. me. Listen, yeah, I'm telling you, it can't happen. There, there, there's a community for that. But but oh, we were not sharing. But, 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 but your girl, this is a week. Oh, all of them. But, but, but your girl week. might not be in that community just because you into that. The girl that you meet or your woman might not be in that community. But guess who? Guess who's gonna always be in that community? That motherfucker. That not place. necessarily, because I met some. I met some mangoes in my travels that I spoke to, that I had conversations with, that will not do nothing with another one. Let me tell you something. I had one like that too. That said that. Until I start rolling off them damn pesos. Let me tell you something. Yeah, but not all of them do that, bro. Some women just don't like women. They don't like it. They don't want it. They don't, won't do it even for bread. For the bread. It, they, they, may, they may be. Because that, if a may, chicken... It may be strong, but not me. Now, I'm sitting there having these conversations. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in fucking Susua having conversations with these women. So to try to understand do. why they do what they do and how they do it. I'm trying to understand. And so well, some, of, some, of, some of it is and some of it's not. Some of it is and some of it's not. Some of it is some of it's not. Survival. No, some of it is survival. it's not survival. I'm gonna tell you what survival is. I'm gonna tell you what survival is. You're, survival. you're defining your survival. No, no, no. I'm defining survival at the most primitive fucking level. The most primitive okay, fucking most primitive, like Survival is by easy. any means easy. necessary, I'm getting to the bag. So survival to you has nothing to do with uh, paying bills, feeding your, feeding your family, or whatever. Any right. means necessary, I'm getting to some money to be able to do what I have to do to feed my family or make sure okay, I'm okay. not home. So you saying those girls, the majority of them are not on that? It's not a survival fucking mechanism for these bitches. Excuse me. It's not a survival. Look, because if it's a survival, there's fucking jobs that are open. There's fruit on the side. Yo, I'm not gonna tell you guys again. I ain't gonna tell you guys again. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Share and subscribe. But most important, smash that like button. It helps the channel. I ain't gonna tell you guys again. If I have to tell you guys again, I'm gonna have to come and find you. I'm gonna have to come and find you. I'm gonna have to come and find you, and I'm gonna have to especially come and find you. Smash that like button. Peace and love. Man is on the screen. Peace. The road that could be sold. The Haitians do it in DR. That's true, that's true. But the Venezuelans do it. Hold on, hold on, let me close. Like this money. Because y'all got hold on, hold on. I don't give a fuck about the quality of money. But they Does it, you like, don't. Like my father said, TC, it's this not a gonna end. That's greedy. My father okay. said this. He said, when I'm hungry, I'm just gonna make some cheese and crackers to knock out some of these wrinkles in my stomach. That's what it's about. Taking care of the fucking urgent issue situation. When they sell us some ass, they want more. It's a greed thing. Right. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna, yes. end, we're gonna end on this note. I agree with brothers going out there. If they wanna buy the girlfriend experience, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead. At the same time, I understand where he's coming from, and I do believe I kind of understand where he's coming from. There is a danger to that because these same guys that are buying these girlfriend experiences, they keep on doing it. Just go and get yourself a girlfriend instead of wasting your time doing it. Okay. But I do understand where you're coming from, as you're saying, look, yeah. I want that for a short while because I'm not a relationship guy. Right. But I just want to dash it in 
in the bin after that and just move on with my life. But exactly. do I want to tap into it a little bit and enjoy it? Yeah. But I can just be like, okay, pay you by but I've heard from you again. Exactly. So I understand. So we're going to agree to disagree, fellas. There's no agree to disagree. It's just a weird thing. <laughs> I never said. Yeah. Now hold on. Yeah. No, hold on. Before people say that, we have to move on. We have to okay. move on. It's yeah, now, let me go. Hold on. Hold on. Let me clear myself because people are gonna think. Go. I'm. I'm. No, 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 no. People I don't think know. that it's a problem for men to do. I you can do that. what you want to do with your money. That's a fact. You know that. Right. Dude, that's your money. I can't tell you what to do with your money. Right. But I'm going to be on the sideline like, yo, you a fucking weirdo. The same bitch down the street will do the same thing for you okay. and fuck other women with you for fucking nothing, none of that. But motherfuckers is lazy. That's what it comes down to. You lazy. Bro, you can't call me a weirdo. And we're going to end it there. You can't call me a weirdo. Take this good No, I said it's weird. I said it's damn. No, no, we're going to end it there. We're going to end it there. We're going to end it there. We are going to agree to disagree. You know, and people. Leave your c- comments in the section. Leave your comments, yeah? Seriously, leave your comments, man. Tell me what you think. Um, do you agree with Cowboy? Are you kind of universal like me? Where, you know, yeah, you know, you don't see nothing wrong with it if people are going to spend their money. Or do you agree with Brian and Kabarin? Just leave your comments in the comment section, man. And, you know, we get to that. Moving on swiftly, we are in Brazil. It's my first time in Brazil. Um, not gonna say how I got here, but I got here. Um, I'm loving the country right now. Um, love the people. The weather's really hot. Um, the beaches, I haven't been overly impressed by the beaches, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, they've got some nice broad walks and stuff like that. Um, they got some lovely scenery. Um, as you all know, and my channel is dedicated to the Dominican Republic mostly. Um, I'm going to definitely be changing that soon because I am going to start the channel to have a pace so soon it will be, well I'm going to announce it now, it will be called Big J's Escapes. Um, I'm going to drop the Dominican Republic. You're loving this, ain't you? You see what I mean? See what, listen. Yo, you're loving this, ain't you? I love it, this, ain't you? I love it. He love it. Anyway. But I called it. I called it. He called it from day one. Um, I love the Dominican Republic. I always will. I've invested in that country heavy. But I have to go and explore other countries. You know, I mean, I'm a Caribbean guy. I love the Caribbean. But the um, Dominican Republic hasn't been behaving itself. Um, these are my friends, so, you know, they know what's going on in my personal life. Um, there's certain things I'm not going to say for YouTube. Um, people can just read in between the lines if they want to. Um, that's fine. I'm just not going to share my personal, um, my, my personal, personal stuff that happens in my life. But like I said, my friends do you know. Um, but I'm in Brazil, and I'm absolutely loving Brazil. I definitely will be back. Um, I am going to make a trip to Colombia at some point when everything dies down. Um, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be going to a few countries, I'm going to be visiting a few European countries. Um, um, outside of that as well, I'm going to be visiting Egypt as well. So, you know, pretty much I'm going to be travelling to other places. Um, BLB, um, we were having a discussion about this whole um, Dominican thing. Um, and go to BLB's channel. Please go and subscribe. Um, he's been talking this stuff since day one. I mean, very knowledgeable guy. So please go and uh, support his channel. But um, here I am now, um, standing at the cliff of truth, peering down at the Dominican Republic. You've been talking this truth from day one. So to see me at this point, because you know you know the ins and outs of what I'm going through as my friend outside of YouTube. Seeing seeing what I've gone through, knowing, you know, because you, you've got you speak the language, 
she had gone to the Dominican Republic more times than you had the hot dinners. Um, you know the culture very well. So seeing a friend of yours go through what they're going through, um, yeah, how, how does that make you? Knowing that you full well told me from... I'm going to be one. brutally, purely mm -hmm. honest. As you only can be. It is like I went into my mom's house, mm -hmm. dug up some shit, found a videotape, one of those VCR tapes, put it in, and I'm watching myself mm -hmm. from the past. What I'm seeing you go through is everything I went through. Every fucking thing I went through is what you're going through. And, but I found it a lot quicker than you. I mm -hmm. found my, okay, that's enough. A lot quicker than you. Yeah. Um, you did a great interview with Taylor Made. It's doing good numbers. Like, I yeah, did a great yeah. interview with Taylor Made, and he was saying basically, and Taylor's been in DR longer than I have. Oh, yeah, and he, he's seen the stuff that I was talking about. Um, mm -hmm. There was a point where I was arguing with people and arguing with people, even, you know, me and you would have little small yeah. dust ups over that shit. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, at one point I was just like, you'll find out. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, it's kind of like when, uh, I, I give examples to explain. Yeah, please, please, it's, please. It's kind of like to uh, Talk to them. when certain Latinos move to the United States and they think that they're white and then the white people friendly finally show them, yeah, nah, you're not white. <laughs> you're going to find out. Eventually, right? So you let people go through their journey and that path and they'll find out. Um, it's funny to see because, you know, the pro, pro DR people, mm -hmm. and that's fine. Yeah. The island is beautiful. So it is gorgeous. Island. It's gorgeous yeah. country. Some of the most peaceful times of my yeah. life have been there. Yeah. Some of the most excruciatingly fucking yeah. frustrating times in my life has been there as well. But it's a beautiful country. It's very much. But the things that you deal with, once you're there for extended amounts of time is the things that can break you and make you move on. So those pro DR guys that continue to go there, they'll go back and forth to Colombia. They'll go back and forth to Brazil. They'll go back and forth to Thailand. They'll go back and forth. But some way, somehow, um, DR starts to be in their rear view mirror as much, right? Mm -hmm. And you start to understand why. Like, well, why? Mm -hmm. What are the reasons why? They probably won't admittedly say so, you know, even people that are still there on the island advocating for the island, sometimes it feels like they just like want to do damage control for people to say, oh, come to the island. And it's, the, the damage control can't be done because the island has stayed the same and been the same culturally. When something is repeated and consistent, that becomes a part of, with, within a, a, a people, that becomes a part of the culture, right? That black people are known for being able to dance, have good rhythm, and make good music, right? That's culturally, that's our thing. We've been like that since they plucked us out of Africa, right? We've been like that. Every instrument, all, goddamn nearly every instrument in the goddamn world came from Africa, right? So that's a part of our culture. Mm -hmm. When things like that are consistent over a long period of time, it's in the dictionary, look up the word culture. That's a part of the culture. And when you see that that's not changing, it's not a one-off for your situation or one-off for this guy's situation. No, we talked earlier about black men being a monolith. Well, this is a situation where it's almost damn near a monolith over there in the country because everybody is almost, almost everybody has these characteristics in them. And it comes out and you, and we're at the end of it, pissed off or mad because things didn't happen. So, you know, um, I would say that watching you and your maturation is just exactly what I went through. Um, a little more, a little different here, a little tweak, tweak, a little tweak here, tweak here, different, but same thing. So I'm watching myself, watching you go through this, but yeah. you know, I, I, it, it, it hurts me a little bit. Cause that, can you see what you say? What type of guy am I? Big old teddy bear. It hurts me to see Big my teddy brothers teddy go through things. If I, if I, if I care about you, it, it bothers me to see yeah, you pain, does. right? So he wears hard on his sleeve. If if I see my guys going through some things and have to go through this like awakening, like where everything that you believe, mm -hmm. it's like it's like me having to tell you Santa Claus don't exist, and you're like, that, mm -hmm. that's that's yeah. tough for me to watch you go through that. If I care about you, if I don't care about you, I, I don't care. But I'm watching you go through this, and I know how much you was invested into it. Yeah, you know, financially, you 
know, you know. As well as, does know. everybody know yeah. about your no. thing? Well, we financially, no, well, we financially, as well yeah, as, yeah, yeah. financially, yeah. as well as uh, emotionally, everything else. Yeah, everything you else. Know. Yeah, you, yeah. Know, you know, you know what's yeah, going you're, on. Yeah, you can, you can fix that. Um, you can fix that out, edit that. No, 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 don't you say anything. No, 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 I was just saying the average shit, because okay. you know what's going on. You know, your, your friend, uh, this whole YouTube shit. Okay. We brothers, me and B.O.B. talk, so he knows exactly what's going on. You didn't say anything okay. that, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I don't care that with YouTube, but. So you yeah, invested yeah, into you it. Know, you, know, you know how much invested yeah. I am. At least know. on the financial part alone, yeah. I've never had a financial, significant yeah. financial investments in the country. Yeah. So for me to pull out, it's a little, it's like, okay. Yeah, little, yeah. Right? I know what you mean in terms of investing, yeah, the land and stuff, yeah, no, and that's so, all documented. And so that, to watch, yeah. to watch a person, because it, it's a process, you go through your head and yeah. you start to think about everybody you've met, everybody you've exactly. had relationships, relationships with, exactly. and see, was this right, or was this real, or was this person on yeah. up and up, or yeah. was this bullshit, or was it fake, and then you start to just say, you go through that. It's like yeah, you a, do. it's a process, just like a breakup. You're going through a breakup with a country, right, that you love, because mm -hmm. that place will make you fall in love with it. Until you plug the cord out of your head, like the matrix out of the back of your neck, and your eyes open and you see what the hell really is going on, like the movie that we talked about. They live. Rowdy right? Rowdy Piper. Yeah. Old movie. <laughs> Told him to put on the glasses. Yeah, take it off. Yeah, yeah, put on the glasses. No, no, put it on. Yeah. Puts on the glasses and he starts to see. That's a, flat, that's a perfect analogy for uh, DR. Yeah. It really is because, like I said, you know, DR, is, I've said this before, I have uh, defended that country and I've always said before, they don't need me to defend shit, they can tell me to piss off. But um, I've always thought, spoke good about the country and um, to be going through what I'm going through or to be faced with that. And it's no surprise. So I don't want anybody, you know, it's not a surprise, you know, any anybody, you know, could go through shitting, you know, for the human beings. But like, what I did? You? Not you. Yeah, and someone said, I would have expected it from that chick I dated, or that other chick I dated, or the other chick. You! Nah! That's like, it's not like I was su surprised that it happened. It was su I was surprised and disappointed from the person it came from. Because right, right. I would have expected it from my ex in Santa Domingo or my ex in Santiago. Not so much my ex in uh, Punta Cana. Not so much her. You know what I mean? Because she, she had her shit. But to think, bruh, you. Yeah, but shit happens, my brother. You know, shit happens. We move on, we move forward. Um, I'm, I've, I've never been a person. I would never ever tell anybody, you know, stop guiding DR or I would never, I would just tell people, look, man, go to the country. It's a beautiful country. Go and enjoy the island. You know, if you've got a lady friend, enjoy her. And after you use what Russ used, don't invest yourself into the country. I you totally agree. I, inv I invested myself into the country, and to be quite honest with you, it didn't work out too well. Look, yeah, I'm not going to get into the, you know, but it didn't work out too well. That's and not to say don't invest. I, I, I still want people. You can go over there and invest. No, in no, real estate or something like that. You can do. No, that. go and do that. Yeah, by all means, go and do real estate. I'm talking about yeah, you yeah, as yeah, a motion person. Yeah, that's right. Uh huh. That's what yeah. I'm I know. I enjoyed yeah. it. my first time visiting. I enjoyed it, but I don't. I don't want no Dominican chica. If I go, I'm taking my own chica. What, what, what was it that put you off about this? What, what, what was your, what, it what just, was it? You know, it's just not my thing. I don't vibe with them. Right. You know, they, 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 they are, they're beautiful, but just not for me, man. They, they're not my thing. Uh, I love the country, I think the country, but I, I enjoy the beach. Oh, the country beautiful. I was really surprised. I didn't expect, for a Dominican public to be that beautiful. And I almost uh, felt guilty for waiting this long for coming. Cause I really, it's a beautiful country. I enjoy Santiago, you know, and uh, I like that that country feel that it has. And, uh, but Puerto Plata, man, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But if I go 
And if I think I want some uh, female companion with me, I'll bring one with me. I'm, I don't want that one of them. No, you can. So you, you'll fly her in? To the... I'll fly her in. I'll fly her in from Brazil, Colombia, but I do not want no Dominican. No, no. You, I'm, you can have them. Let me tell you something, not wow. for me. I, uh, I don't knock them, nobody else. What was it that put you off then? I just, just don't like their vibe, man. You don't like, like their vibe? At all. Oh. At all. So it's like, of the, of the many I encounter, you know, even this just conversating, talking, not trying to really hit all of them, but uh, just not just not for me. Just not for me. Now I'm bringing, don't, now I'm bringing my own, I'm bringing my own with me. I, nah, nah y'all can have them. No sir. I, Fair I, enough. I think, I think, I think, and, I t and me and TC had a, a, a small uh, conversation about this. Mm -hmm. CC, what TC had when he arrived there was he had a lot of people saying things to him. When, and before it, he arrived for the right. Dominican Republic? And a lot of that stayed in his head. He couldn't shake that up, right? Was it negative stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so there were some negative things that were said to him and he couldn't shake that out. Like, right. If somebody tells you you're not going to like something, your mind is going to do everything to, for you to not like it. But he did like it. But I did like it. No, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about Santo Domingo. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't like Santo Domingo for me, I've had a lot of fun in Santo Domingo. I had a lot of fun in Santo Domingo. Tons of fun in Santo yeah, Domingo. Yeah, yeah. But he, um, we didn't do everything that we could in Santo right. Domingo. Um, we, didn't it's get, we didn't get connected with the right people. Some of my people yeah. was gone. Or my guy came through and he had to leave. Um, as far as the ladies, the ones that I know that would have showed them a good time, they was working, they had jobs, they were working, I, you know. So Fair I enough. couldn't, yeah, you know what I mean? Enough. So he didn't have a good time. But for a newcomer to the Dominican Republic, um, Santo Domingo could be a little overwhelming for you, right? Could be a little overwhelming. Landing in Puerto Plata or Barbado or, or mm -hmm. Punta Cana would maybe be a little bit better. But would you but, say I gave it a fair shot? No. no. I, we went to five cities. No. I no, I'm talking about for Santo Domingo. Only Santo Domingo. Oh, Santo Domingo. Where's yeah, the Cali? I'm a country boy. I'm a country boy. Listen, I'm a Georgia boy. I don't even like Atlanta. Where's the Santo Domingo for how long? How many days? Six, what, six or seven? Something, Something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a country boy. Oh, you there for seven days? Yeah, yeah. I'm a country boy. Oh, I don't okay. like any capital, any big city. I'm a country boy. I'm, I'm, I'm from Middle Georgia. Don't say that. I don't no. even like Atlanta. Don't say that because I'm gonna give you. You probably not thinking of one that you like the, the hell out of. I don't like Atlanta. You like that Medellin, is. but it's not That's the capital. Bogota is the capital. But well, Medellin should be the damn capital because it's people, more but people see, go to I Medellin. I don't like Bogota. I don't like Bogota. I don't like capitals. I don't like big city. I'm not. A, I'm a country boy. I think Medellin get more tourists than Bogota, bro. That's just that's just a, because of the history. Maybe, but Bogota is bigger. You know, it's, it's a bigger population, and I, I just don't. That's not my fear. Yeah. Whether it's going to New York, no. If I go to New York, yeah, I got my, my fear is probably going to be on the outskirts. Outside of the, 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 the borough, I can see. I, I just like I'm a, I'm a country boy. I, I can mean, see I why he didn't like the vibe between the interactions because it's the 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 Colombians versus the Dominicans are totally different yeah. people. Totally different flow. Totally different set of mannerisms. Totally different respect level. You'll get, you'll have more respectful conversations with a person in Colombia than you would. Mm -hmm. Senor, si, con gusto, all, you, you'll deal with some Dominicans that's like, ah, you know, in the city. I get that. It's a different vibe. You just have to know how to switch one off and switch the other one on, but you could, you haven't been there that much, so I get that. But did you so, notice the difference? I mean, when we left uh, to Santiago, yeah. San, it's, a, it's a difference. Yeah, and, and, it's and like, I feel that. do change too. Santiago's a different. It's a different ball game. Yeah, I like Santiago. Santiago's a different ball game, and and Santiago, it's not for Santiago's not for just anybody. You first of all, there's a lot of people in Santiago that do speak English, but they won't with you. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot. There's how do I say this without saying it's crazy. The most of the mangoes that are in Santiago, they leave, they go somewhere else. So you're dealing with regular women in, in Santiago. Santiago. And you gotta have, look, Santiago, they got money. Right, right. They got money. So whatever you think you're doing with your little American bread to impress this girl is not really gonna happen. She's not, she's not gonna sit at the table and you can't speak to her and 
for nothing because she can stand, but she can go with a baseball player. There's a billion of them over there. True. Right? So it's like Santiago's a different type of vibe. It's chill, it's relaxed. You can meet some good people. My brother in laws and sister in laws is from Santiago. That's probably where I've spent between there and Bonnie the most. It's a good vibe. Before I say, before I let this, I, I shut up. No, please continue, bro. No, please. there are some amazing people in the Dominican Republic. We're not saying, I'm not saying at least that 100% of this, this is how all Dominican people is. This is not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is on that island, a great majority have these things in them that makes it difficult to build. Look, I'll give you an example. So I know that somebody probably Dominican will see this and be like, uh, oh, you, you're talking about it. No. It, it, a thing that they have in Dominican Republic they call hablador. Hablador is a person that makes up shit, a liar, someone that 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 just you know just talks, you know, makes up shit. Basically, in so many words, we're gonna use it for a liar, right? Ah, hablador, that didn't happen. Before, when you meet somebody in Dominican Republic on the island, you're told three lies before you even get to your name. And you ask yourself, like, why are you lying? Like, you, there's no reason. Nobody's going to kill you if you tell the truth. Why lie? And it's unnecessary. Hey, what's your name? Ah, uh, my name is Lisa. Her name is nowhere near Lisa. Uh, how much does that cost? That costs $20. It costs $2.50. <laughs> like, you're told things over there. And the Dominicans have this thing where they... The Dominicans have this thing where they... they they feel that it's not a problem, it's a problem. This is normal around the world. Here is three things that I would say to the Dominican people on the island, not the Dominican people in the States. On the island, you motherfuckers haven't traveled nowhere because your passport's not accepted in a lot of countries. You can't go without a visa or applying for a visa, which takes years. So you can't compare what other countries do and how other countries are if you haven't been there and you haven't spent significant time over there. Let's be clear, they don't travel. They don't travel. The most they go to, so you got Dominicans in Italy, you got Dominicans in the UK, you got Dominicans in Europe, you got some Dominicans, I'm pretty sure, in China, Asia, Canada, and the United States. But it's very rare that you come across a Dominican, yeah, I'm traveling, I live in this. It's very rare that you're in your travel. You run across a group of Dominicans and traveling. They don't, it's economically almost impossible for them to travel and be, you know, unless they are in the top one, uh, five to five percent, right? So when they say that, you know, it's the same every, no it's not. There are, uh, an, there's an, a, a, there is an exact set of things that are only found in the Dominican Republic. Uber. Right, the Uber situation, well they do it a little bit, they do it a little bit in Colombia, just a little bit, not crazy, a little bit, a little bit. Never had a they do it in Carnahan a little bit, a, a, a lot well, more. Yeah, with them taxes a little bit, but. Um, so that's on the thing with Car with Carl Hanger then, they, they yeah. do count. Let's come back to the Ubers, because the Uber oh. thing is a whole topic in itself, bro. We have to I think everybody knows that we, story. We have to beat this ready. into the head until we oh, pick this up and figure it out. I've done a video on this. Man. It, the Uber thing is everybody know about the Uber right there. We all know about the Uber. I, I think we definitely need to like Oh Lord, do we have to waste time? I I, I, I just want people to start a movement to remove Uber from the Dominican Republic and give them in driver. It's a better system for them. It's all cash. They can yeah. they can decide their price, accept what price they want. That's yeah. true. That's true. They need end driver. I've told them guys. You heard me tell them. Mm -hmm. They Uber needs to be removed because they don't respect it, and it, somebody's gonna get hurt, yeah. or at least by me if I'm over there. <laughs> and you keep playing it. Um, but what you saying? you're gonna get three lies when you're dealing with these people um, from over the island. You're gonna get a lot of BS. Um, but I do not want all the things I'm saying in the negative light to overshadow the fact that there are some amazing people there. There are some honest people there. There are some true people there. But from me, a person that traveled across that whole, almost that whole country, it's like, it's really rare to find those people. So if you do find them and you can, uh, in the early, was it, did I say that on camera? Did I say that when we was off camera, the Jay-Z statement? Uh, that was off camera. That was off camera. So, Jay-Z said, I think in an interview or on the song, the best way to see somebody is not looking at him. It was in the video. I think it was in the video he was doing. The best way to see somebody is by not looking at him. If I, if you're gonna, if you're gonna act the same when my eyes is on you as the same when my eyes is off you, 
then you're solid. I introduced this brother to a girl um, that's been solid for me for a long time. And he seen it with his own eyes, what I told him. And then he put it through, well, he, did you put it through some tests or you seen something? I put it through the test. He put it through the test yeah. and she proved him. He don't she speak Spanish. It. I don't speak Spanish, but I was, she do. I had the, the conversation uh, app on the Google. I was listening to everything that God was telling me. And he was actually telling her that he basically gonna go kind of shit me on the price. And she was saying, no, you're not. I, I'm listening to everything. Saying, I, I didn't say anything. I'm just This listening. is when you was in the Uber. He, wanted, Uber. he wanted more Uber money. He, yeah, yeah. He, he was trying to take me for a ride. And she was like, no, no, you're not going to do that, you know? Yeah, I was listening to everything. I came back and told my look. I said, yeah. you know what? She saw that man. I said, that guy was really trying to trying to stick me. She, she was like, no, no, we ain't doing that. He, I, he ain't paying you that. We're gonna pay. I would have had no idea what yeah. y'all pay for the Uber. I would have never asked. I would have said, okay, y'all back, and you know, you yeah. know, I was, you know, you know, I was at. Right, right, right. I would have had no idea. So they could have kept that in the rug, and you know, yeah. it, it was what it was. Yeah, that girl was solid, man. But she, she solid. She explained it. Yeah. Solid. Now this is over years. This is not just I just showed up. Mm -hmm. I've known her back in 2020, 2019, right? 2019, 20, 2018 mm -hmm. probably. And I've known her since what was it was six years. Yeah. And she's been solid ever since. When you come in, let's hang out. Boom, boom, boom. Um, not only was she doing that, she paid for things. She she did. Which surprised he told me it surprised me because I told her, yo, you with me, you don't need no money. Mm -hmm. Just come hang out. She paid. She paid. Yeah, she. Yeah. I'm like, what? This was in uh, Santiago. Santiago. Yeah. Um, Santiago. I got family there. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I got love. I got Santiago. people there. I enjoy that. I got family. I call it. They're my family. They're not my blood, but they're my family. They yeah. they close to me. I got them there. Yeah. And and solid. But this is over years. I, I met the. I met him. I met the, my brother-in-law. I met him. Shit. 2008. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's over time. But if you're over there and you're meeting people, you're not gonna get, you have to like build this rapport, right? You have to be years in. Now some guys know people for two, three years that still shit them. But I, I'm invested, like I, I, I'm in their house in the States. I stayed in their house in DR. Yeah, I, they I met my mother. I think. I met their mother. I traveled to New York. They family live in New York, I go to New York. With, with or without them, I go to New York, hang out with their dad and their mom, it's cool. So in your opinion, it was a different vibe from the uh, people in Santiago and, and Santo Domingo? Different vibe, different it's a vibe. different vibe. Now, will you run into some people in some of the some of the hoods of Santiago that are on the same type of time as Santo Domingo? Of course you will, it's Dominican Republic. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, in Santo Domingo, your chances, and this is all statistics, your likelihood of finding solid connections which don't lead to like, hey, my refrigerator's empty. Um, you have a better chance in Santiago. A lot of people, a lot of people own their homes in Santiago. A lot of people, you know, work, go to school. You know, it's a smaller city compared to Santo Domingo. You know what I'm saying? But you can still get, you can still get the bullshit from Santiago. It's a fact. I got the bullshit in Santiago. I, my two girlfriend experience in Santiago, both in Santiago, both turned me against those women. So how does how does we're in Brazil right now? And um, those who don't know, I missed my fly home. <laughs> Fuck you didn't. I missed my fly home. Fuck you didn't. Did. <laughs> TC, can you demonstrate to the audience what Big J did on it? Yeah, TC, like, tell the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, <laughs> Big J. Was, Big was, J was on that. He made his way. <laughs> Big J made his way through the security gate. <laughs> All the way to the tarmac. Some kind of way he got, he made his way out there on the tarmac. He was on the tarmac. He was on the tarmac. He was on the tarmac. <laughs> Wave the plane off. <laughs> <laughs> Big J was the one directing the plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Captain saw, right? You know the captain turned the plane around and you can see the captain. Big J said, <laughs> Don't tell me how I miss my fly. I miss my fly. Made it through security, everything, gates, everything, everything, everything. I was enjoying some food. I was, you know, watching something on my phone. I looked up, okay, I have to be at the gate for 3.45. <laughs> the 
Okay. About three forty, I made my way. Time I got there, the gate was shut. I don't know what was that. What, what the hell I was going through? I don't know. You know they call your name too on the speaker. Yeah, I didn't hear that shit. <laughs> Cause you had the earmuffs on yeah. outside directing the play. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. How do you pick Brazil against uh, DR? Actually, that should be a question for me, but I'm asking you guys. Do you think it's fair? Do you prefer Brazil over DR? Certain things. Okay. I think the Dominican food is still top notch. Oh yeah, Dominican food is yeah, yeah, top notch. Yeah. Shit. Um, I think Brazilian food is cleaner. Look, it is. It's a lot cleaner. It's the, a lot cleaner. The beef in, in Brazil paws. The steaks, the the cow is good. It was bull. Is the steak come from a cow? Or cow, man, bull, bull, bull. 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 I thought the beef don't come from the milk. The the, the, the milk there. Right? I thought it came from the the bull. Uh -huh. Nah? Oh shit. Uh, it can come from the bull too. So well, you eat clone yeah. meat in America. Stupid American. So fuck knows where that Y'all do too in the UK. No, we eat that shit. Y'all eat that shit. Yeah. Okay. Do you know your sweets come with a fucking health warning? With, 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 with the queen, with the oh, queen. Oh, 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 Yo, I'm not going to tell you guys again. I ain't going to tell you guys again. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Share and subscribe. But most important, smash that like button. It helps the channel. I ain't going to tell you guys again. If I have to tell you guys again, I'm going to have to come and find you. I'm going to have to come and find you. I'm going to have to come and find you. And I'm going to have to especially come and find you. Smash that like button. Peace and love. Man is everything. Peace. Beef here, Paul's in Brazil is second to only Argentina. That's just a fact. Colombia would be third. Colombia has great uh, uh, stuff like that. As far as the flavoring and the seasoning, uh, Brazil's got some season, some flavor in their food, but it's nothing like Dominican food. Like Dominican food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. And even we say as Jamaicans that Dominicans don't even season their food enough. But their food's good though. I think Hang you guys, like Dominican food's good. I think you guys over season your food. No, and you, everything's no. too much jerk, bro. I can't. You, I can only do that. I don't know what restaurant you go to because not all Jamaicans eat fucking yeah. jerk. Yeah, tell bro. me what else it is. What do you mean you got curry? Curry. It's bro. the same type of shit to us, bro. To Black America, it's the same shit. It's got a spice on it. It's hot. It's the same shit, bro. So Atkins saltfish is the same as jerk. If it's hot and it's all if brown, all your chicken is the same as jerk. If, if it's hot, is it all spicy? I never had all of it. Is it all spicy? Yes or no? Never had all of it. Had jerk chicken, jerk goat, uh, curry this, curry that, bro. That's what it is. I'm not saying that it's not good, but as far as an extensive menu. It's not, it's just too fucking hot, bro. It's too hot no, and it's too no, I need a balance. We, 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 do, we do like hot scotch bunny. What the Dominicans do is they add like a little bit of, they add a little yeah, balance from the heat, the food. spice with a little sugar in it, and, and it's nice. The Jamaicans don't do none of that. Oh, we add chicken. None of that. Yeah, the chicken. beans versus Dominican beans versus all of the Caribbean. Unmatched, you can't yeah, touch it. Fuck out. Can't touch it, bro. Fuck you. You can't touch it. You're it. telling me what? What? You're telling me that, that abituela, it would never touch rice. Black it. beans, black beans, bro. Black beans by itself. The sauce in black beans by itself blows anything on your island out of the water. Never. Trinidad, Tobago, St. Lucia, St. Paul, I will eat St. John's. I will eat uh, doubles uh, over that black beans. I will eat doubles. You wildin' bro. You're joking. You wildin'. That's that's that bias why it's bias. But it's good because I'll eat truly food beans. I'm up way before I eat Dominican. I'm I'm outside, I'm from a neutral position, right? Hell I don't, no. I don't, I'm not I don't know. Dominican Republic food's stuff. good. Don't get me wrong. Beans it is. But over truly food, yeah. no way. Oh, over yeah. Beijing food, the beans, no the way. beans, bro. Never. Bro, it's all the same shit. Some meat with some hot spice on it. That's all it is. 
That's all Caribbean nah. food is. Nah. Some meat with some hot fucking shit on it. Oh, now, if you, if the if the if the, anyway, oh get back to the, 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 oh, if they was putting some coconut in there, like some nice coconut milk type get shit, back to put Brazil. It in there. Get, get back to Brazil. But they don't do that. Right. We 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 was going on the whole Brazil thing. I see. No, he doesn't want to do that. Get the hell out of here. What's he talking about? Right. Going, going back onto the Brazil. So you like yeah, the food that they serve here? here. Yeah, go. On. The food it's it's like weird. It's weird in Brazil. Like they'll give you meat, uh, uh, they'll give you a salsa. That's what it is, mm. it's a salsa. It's not, they call it vinaigrette, but it's a salsa. Cause vinaigrette for us, the word vinaigrette is close to vinaigrette, which is, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We all know what vinaigrette is. So I'm looking, we had night. I'm looking for a salad yeah. dressing. Yeah, we had a last okay. night. Yeah. So it's, it's salsa, but basically, mm. that's good. But they'll give you rice with nothing else and then they'll give you this powder shit called farina or whatever it is and that, you eat the farina like, it's weird. You'll see it at some point. And that's weird. It's just a weird. It's like they have the Brazilians can take off with their food. The food is good, mm. but they need to put their plates together.